Buckle up, our weather's set to go on a bit of a roller coaster ride through the next 10 days. We have some unsettled spells, something a bit calmer, then something potentially stormy early next week before we could see high pressure returning towards the end of the 10-day period. Starting off though, let's look at the bigger picture as we go into Thursday. We have a northwesterly flow and that's going to be driving some showery bursts spreading across many parts of the country. There is a, a front towards the southwest, but there will be some showery bursts elsewhere further north across parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland, some showery spells here. The heaviest and most frequent showers though will be across southern parts of England and perhaps Wales as well. Here there's quite a significant risk of some intense thundery downpours. We're looking at 25 to 35 millimetres of rain in just an hour or so and perhaps uh, well 60 millimetres in a few hours. That's enough to cause some impacts with some flash flooding and also watch out for some frequent lightning and some hail. Temperature wise we're looking at uh, them peaking in the mid 20s towards the south 25 celsius. Here it's going to be quite humid along with those heavy thundery downpours. Further north temperatures a little bit lower but still getting into the high teens or low 20s. So if you catch any sunshine of which there should be a decent amount by the afternoon across parts of Northern Ireland and also East Anglia in particular it should feel relatively warm. Then as we go through Thursday evening, a lot of the showers will continue for a little while, but they are eventually going to fizzle out and clear away. And we will have some clearer skies developing as we go overnight Thursday into Friday. And actually things are going to be uh, a little bit fresher. Temperatures are a little bit lower than they have been through some recent nights, maybe a bit more comfortable, perhaps if you've been finding things a bit warm, a bit humid at the moment. As we go into Friday, a couple of things that I wanted to highlight on the bigger picture. There is a, uh, well, it's drawn as a front, but a sort of troughy feature that's pushing into eastern parts of the UK. That's bringing some showers. And there's also a jet streak that's pushing down across the country. And as that jet, jet streak uh, influences the, uh, the trophy feature towards the east, it's likely to see uh, the showers across eastern parts of the UK invigorating, so becoming a bit more intense as we go through the day. So some showers quite likely across eastern parts as we go through Friday. They don't look quite as intense as the ones in the south through Thursday, but nonetheless 20-30 millimetres in a few hours or so. Further west we could see a few showers, but it's looking largely dry and there should be some brighter breaks in between the cloud. Temperatures will be a little bit lower, just a degree or so, so starting to turn a, a bit fresher compared to some earlier days this week. Then we look towards the weekend and high pressure is trying to build a ridge of high pressure building in for Saturday. That's going to cap things off a little bit. So whilst there could be a few showers around, there won't be that many and they're looking pretty light and short lived if you do catch any. So for the most part, it is going to be a generally fine day. But then things change as we go into Sunday. Definitely this weekend looks like a tale of two halves. Saturday mostly fine, but then some wetter weather coming through on Sunday. A couple of things that I wanted to highlight from this chart here and well there is a, a deep air of low pressure forming out in the Atlantic. I'll have more on that in a second but it's uh, this other low just to the southwest of Iceland and it's associated front that's set to then make its way southeastwards across the country as we go through Sunday. Now this does look like it could bring some fairly heavy rain, could be thundery at times as this front pushes its way through. Worth bearing in mind across parts of the east southeast it's going to be well into the afternoon before that arrives and behind it there will be some fine weather around. It's relatively, it's a relatively narrow band of rain. So there will be some dry weather this Sunday. It just depends exactly where you are, whether or not that will be most likely in the morning or later on in the day. It is also going to be a bit fresher, a bit cooler. Temperatures a bit, a bit lower still on Sunday compared to, well, Friday and Saturday as well. But then, yes, as I mentioned, there is this area of low pressure that's coming in from the west. But let's look back at where that originates. And uh, it actually starts off as a sort of wave over eastern parts of the USA. And then it uh, makes its way eastwards across the Atlantic. And exactly what's going to happen with this low pressure? Well, it all depends on the jet stream because this is the Met Office model. And the Met Office model wants this low to come across the Atlantic quite quickly and actually move across the jet stream and by the time that it comes towards us early next week, it's likely to be on the northern side of the jet stream, the cooler side on the left exit region. And if it does this, 
then it's likely to go through something called rapid cyclogenesis. So it could deepen very quickly and become an unseasonably deep area of low pressure by the time it reaches the UK. So we could have some very wet and very windy weather pushing its way across the country. But a few things to bear in mind. This, uh, this is just one model output and perhaps the Met Office model at the moment is the, the most intense in terms of how deep that low pressure is going to be. It's also one of the quickest, but I'll show you a couple of model outputs in a second. Looking at the details for Monday then, and if this model run comes off, then yes, it is going to bring some very wet and uh, particularly windy weather across many parts of the UK as that low tracks across parts of Scotland and makes its way eastwards. The rain could be quite heavy, yes, it should move through fairly quickly, so I'm not expecting too many impacts from the wet weather, it's the winds we perhaps need to watch out for. There's 50, 60 mile per hour gusts look quite likely, could be stronger than that, 70, 80, not out of the question. And at this time of year, obviously, there are a lot of temporary structures set up, there are festivals, lots of outdoor plans happening, lots of travel. So there could be some significant disruption, more disruption than you would get during the autumn and winter months with a similar strength feature. Like I said, though, there are some question marks as to exactly how this is going to develop. It's looking quite likely that we are going to have some wet and windy weather to start next week, but exactly when it comes through, where we see the heaviest rain and the strongest winds, that's where there are some question marks, and it's no guarantee that we do actually see the unsettled weather. But let's compare a couple of models for next Monday. This is for one o'clock in the afternoon. At the top left, I have the Met Office model. Uh, top right, ECMWF, the European model. Bottom left, GFS, the American model. And then bottom right, ICON, the German model. And you can see that both the Met Office and German model, they're actually Actually quite similar with both the timing and position and uh, relative intensity of the low pressure system that's coming into the northwest. So both of these would suggest a very wet and windy period as we go through into Monday. ECMWF, however, well, it does have a low starting to push its way into the west, but uh, it's much slower and that low doesn't look anywhere near as intense and GFS doesn't really want to know about it. So this is going more in line with the idea of it not being a particularly unsettled day at all. But if we roll on uh, 12 hours further into the future, so now one o'clock on Tuesday, so Monday night into Tuesday, and you can see um, the Met Office model and the German model have then taken that low across Scotland, bringing that very wet and windy spell through Monday, through Monday night and into Tuesday and then clearing away. But as I mentioned, the European model, well, that keeps everything a little bit slower. So it's not really until Monday night into Tuesday when that low pressure arrives. And notice it's further south. It's more running across central parts of the UK. And so that would change exactly where we see the wettest, windiest weather. It'll be a bit more across southern areas, whereas if these ones came off, then it would be across more central parts and further north, uh, and still GFS not really bringing in a low pressure centre at all. So be aware, we could have some very wet and windy weather, potentially stormy weather as we go through early part of next week, but the details still need to firm up. Looking further ahead, this is the 10 day trend after all, so we want to go through the whole 10 day period. And well, as I alluded to at the start, no matter what happens with the uh, unsettled feature, the low pressure system that comes through early next week, there are signs that we will see high pressure returning and building from the southwest, quietening our weather down as we go towards the end of this 10 day period. So looking at the most likely setups for next Tuesday and the most likely setup has high pressure building from the southwest as do the second and third most likely setup, slight different positioning uh, with the high, but still going with the idea of something more settled pushing in from the southwest. And if we just roll on a few more days and the story's changed or tweaked a little bit, but still still going with the idea of high pressure somewhere across southern, southwestern parts, or perhaps by the third most likely across much of the UK. So it does look like things will turn drier. Yes, there could still be a bit of rain across northern parts, but particularly towards the south, it looks like it's going to turn largely dry as we go through next week. And that high pressure could linger for a little while, could continue through until the end of the next week, and perhaps it could even last for a little bit longer. But as we go towards the end of the 10 day period, there are some signs that we could see low pressure returning, particularly towards parts of the northwest. So a slight change to something more unsettled there. We also need to look at our temperatures as we go through the next few days and they too go on a bit of a roller coaster ride. So uh, at the moment they're a little bit above average for the time of year. They drop down as we go into this weekend, already alluded to the fact that there's something a little bit fresher, cooler coming through and obviously on Sunday when we have that rain making its way across, if you're under that cloud and that rain, 
it's going to feel pretty cool. And, uh, and when we get that unsettled spell early next week, that's going to make it feel quite cool. Notice with this is ECMWF data, and so Tuesday's kind of being highlighted as a, as a cool day because of the unsettled weather that's most likely, according to that model, to be coming through on Tuesday. But thereafter, with that high pressure returning that I just showed you, there are signs that we could see our temperatures rising, particularly towards the south. If we take London, for example, uh, it looks quite likely that we'll see temperatures rising a fair few degrees above average. Uh, the extreme forecast has it several degrees above average, but still worth bearing in mind there's some uncertainty, quite a widespread for the middle to end of next week and beyond, as you would expect at that sort of lead time. So fair few features coming through at the moment. Watch out for the heavy thundery showers in the south on uh, Thursday. And then some showers in the east, in particular on Friday, quieter as we go into the weekend, but then an unsettled spell Sunday and more so on Monday. Like I said, it could be potentially stormy. So definitely one to watch before the high pressure is likely to then return. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.